has the music scene changed since you left? The music scene has changed dramatically. Um, it's like everything is trapping, a uh, whole lot of shoot 'em up, bang bang type record, you know what I mean? So it's like, uh, and then of course social media plays a big part of it. Um, it ain't the, the get out and, and grind hard, fly you to this city, to that city, CDs. CDs are, are non-existent no more. It's like, all that stuff is like prehistoric. So that's the, the game has changed, evolved better than where it was before, more cost efficient. But um, it, it's totally, it's definitely totally different from, from where I came from. What about, what about Tampa is different? Tampa is different because uh, there is no more party music here in Tampa. Everybody went away from what was working, and it's kind of like, you know, a lot of the trap music. But we're going to fix that. Who are your main influences? My main influences would be Rick Ross. Because um, I know Ross from when he started way back with Slip and Slide. Um, all the way up until now, I've seen his growth. Now, yeah, he, he went from an artist all the way to a businessman and to a corporation, you know, so he would be my, my, my biggest influence. Will you stay in Florida? Of course I would stay in Florida. Florida is my home, man. Tampa Bay is where I stay all day. Do you prefer digital music or prefer uh, or CDs? I like the digital. Like, um, I'm growing accustomed to the digital because digital has made it easier and less cost efficient. Like, the money that we used to dump into CDs, like, you had to go and get 5,000 CDs for the event. Now you don't have to do that. All I have to do is be able to reach the 5,000 with a, with a flyer. And all they got to do is scan it or they can upload it to their phone from an email. You know, it's just, it's just as simple as that. Thing you did when you released for prison? You know what I did. I got me some of that motherfucking uh, patch of hair. Pussy man, that we call it in prison. Patch of hair man. And then I got me some motherfucking bojangles. Do you have a relationship with Obama? Um, we never met, but I got plans on very soon meeting him. Very very soon. What do you listen to now? I listen to Finally Free, man. My CD, critiquing it. How can I do the next the next EP better? Um, how can I elevate my style of rapping, uh, my style of music? Just want to take it elevated to the next level. What artists are you looking to collab with? Uh, collab, I want to do something with Daddy Yankee. I also want to do something with Bruno Mars. Uh, I'm really trying to go into the next to the next level. So more more popish, you know, popish and overseas type music. Do you feel America's criminal justice system is fair? Hell no. America criminal justice is terrible, man. All they're doing is just warehousing individuals with long, long, long sentences, man. I think it should be a revolving door. Uh, unless unless it's something very, very serious. Other than that, like drugs and, and, and uh, other petty crimes and stuff like that, I think it should be a revolving door. Five years, two years, and then you right back out. What new projects can we expect? New projects, um, you got the Finally Free, you got, that's me, uh, an amazing project. We got a project with me and Chris Dow doing together, King of Juke City and the twerk god uh i got the second the second project that we getting ready to work on too uh we getting ready to release that like maybe like march but um we don't go man we don't go uh tv shows documentaries um it, it's, it's gonna be amazing man what you know about that dirty dirty them boys smoke dirty, smoke dirty, and them crackers out there dirty. You can't tell me about that dirty. dirty. If you ain't grow up in that dirty, in that dirty, we air house in the hood dirty. You don't know about that dirty. dirty. See me, I grew up in that dirty, in that dirty. You can't tell me about that dirty. 
Yeah, we got one year till we dead, nigga. Two twins count my bread, nigga. Forty racks that I saved up on four folks outside of your crib, nigga. Eight shots bust your head, nigga. Both neighbors found you, you gone, nigga.